Well, go ahead and open your Bibles with me this morning to Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13, and we're going to get there in just a moment. As this is our fourth part on our series that I've entitled Bless Me. And we'll probably go on this for a couple more weeks. Uh, I, I originally thought that this was just going to be a two-week series. But as we got into this, uh, the Lord just led me to some different directions, and I think this is going to be something that will really help each and every one of us. And so we're talking about bless me. Everybody say bless me. And, yeah. and, and a lot of times that's... that's that's what our prayers are to God. Ja väga tihti meie palve Jumala pool on selline. You know, God bless me. Jumal õnnista mind. God, you know, you, you do your part. Jumal, sina tee enda osa. And I think that there is something that God has created in each and every one of us that ja, wants something better. Ja mus on seda, et Jumal on loonud meid nii, et iga ühe meie sees on midagi sellis, mis tahab enamat, paremat. For, for each one of us, we want something more in life. Iga üks meist tahab midagi enamat siin eluse. And we are created to desire the blessings of God on our life. Ja meid on loodud nii, et me igatseksime Jumal õnnistus enda eluse. How many want your life to get better than what it is today? It's just it's, a, it's how we're created. Nobody wakes up and thinks, I wish my life was worse. No, we want our life to get better. And for us to walk in the blessings of God. You know, many times I think we, we, we look to others and, and we expect others. And if we're not blessed, we blame other people. Ja kui meie ei ole õnnistatus, meie süüdistame teis inimesi. And we look to our government to bless us. Ja meie vaatame meie valitsuse peale, et nemad õnnistaks meid. We look to our leaders to bless us. Meie vaatame oma juhtide peale, et nemad õnnistaks meid. We look to our parents or our boss. Meie vaatame oma siis vanemate peale või ülemuse peale. Pastor, friends. Pastori peale, sõprade peale. And we, we, we don't want to take the responsibility for our own lives a lot of times. Meie väga tihti ei taha võtta vastutust enda elu eest enda peale. But when reality is this, aga kui reaalsus on see, it is up to you whether you walk in the blessings of God or not. See oleneb sinus, kas sa käid Jumala õnnistustes või mitte. And if we're, you know, as, as we're looking at, at these, these principles and these truths from God's word, kui me vaatame need prinsiipe tõdasid Jumala sõnaste, we're going to see, we're going to find out how blessing can come to pass in our lives. Me näeme seda, et kuidas õnnistus saab tulla meie ellu. And we're talking about the principle of honor. Me räägime au prinsiibiste. Say honor. Ütle au. All right, we need to know how to honor one another. Me ei peame teama, kuidas austada üks teist. And how we can adjust ourselves to be more blessed in our life. Ja kuidas me saame korrigeerida ise ennast, et olla rohkem õnnistatud siin elus. So that's basically what we're talking about. Ja see on niimoodi üldiselt, milles me räägime. And over the next few weeks, we've got some really good things to look into that I, I believe can be life-changing. Ja järgmis nädal jooksul me vaatame siin päris häida asju, mille kohta ma usun, et need on elu muutvada. But in Matthew chapter 13, ja nüüd Matteus on keelium 13, and in verse 44, salmis 44, it says, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hid in a field. Taeva riik on põllusse peidetud aarde sarnane. What is Jesus talking about? Millest Jeesus räägib siin? He's talking about the kingdom. Tema räägib Jumala kuningriigist. He's talking about how things work with God. Tema räägib sellest, kuidas asjad toimivad Jumalaga. And he said, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. And when a man found it, he hid it again. And then in his joy, he went out and sold all that he had. And he bought that field. Ta ütleb, taeva riik on põllusse peidetud aarde sarnane, mille inimene leidis ja peitis jälle. So the kingdom of heaven works like this. Oh, till the end, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ta läks rõõmuga ja müüs ära kõik, mis tal oli ning ostis selle põllu. So the kingdom of heaven works like this. Nii et taeva riik toimib nii. All of us have a treasure. Igal ühel meist on aare. But all of us have a field. Aga igal ühel meist on olas põlde. All right. The person sitting next to you has a treasure. See inimene, kes istub sinu kõrval, tal on aare olemas. And the person sitting next to you has a field. Ja see inimene, kes istub su kõrval, tal on ka põld olemas. You have something valuable that's on the inside of you. Sinus on midagi väärtuslikku. But it is hidden under dirt. Aga see on peidetud siis sinna pinnas alla, mulle alla. And for every field that has a treasure that's hidden in it. Ja siis igas põllus on aare. 
Your treasure is hid for a purpose. Siis, siis iga põld, milles on aare, siis tea seda, et, et see aare on peidetud eesmärgiga. And I love how God does this. Ja mina väga armastan, kuidas Jumal teeb seda. He hides the treasure in your field with a purpose. Tema peidab selle aarde sinu põldu eesmärgiga. It's so that a casual passerby will not be able to take your treasure. For somebody to be able to access the treasure that is on, on the inside of you, they're going to have to take time and honor you. And we need to learn to honor one another. If we're going to access the treasure that is on the inside of us. If we're going to access the treasure. Yeah. Kui meie tahame siis ligi pääseda aardele, mis on neise. And so I can't take you lightly. Nii et mina ei saa sind võtta kuidagi lihtsalt nii sama. And access the treasure that that's on the inside. Lihtsalt suvaliselt kohelda sind ja siis pääseda ligi selle aardele, mis on sinu. I have to honor you. Mina pean austama sind selleks, et ligi pääseda sellele. Now the sad thing is this. Ja kurb asi on see. In, a, in many churches there there are uh, what we would call uh, dirt hunters. Väga paljudes kogudustes on nii nagu me ütleme siis porijahtijad. You know, where people are looking around thinking, all right, what's wrong in your life? Inimesed vaatavad ringi ja siis mõtlevad, nii, mis on sinu elus viga? You know, where did you go that you shouldn't have gone? Kus sina käisid, kus sa ei peaks käima? Ah, I smell something. What did you do last night? Ah, ma tunne mingit lõhna. Mis sa eile tegid? You know, uh, where, where have you been? Kus sa oled käinud? What did you just say? Mida sa just ütlesid? And people are looking for the dirt. They're looking for the bad. Ja inimesed otsivad pori, nad otsivad soppa, halba. And they're looking for an opportunity to say, hey, Lloyd, you better act right. Nad otsivad võimalust tõle. So parem käit õigesti. I don't want our church to be full of dirt hunters. Mina ei tahad meie kogu selleks täis pori jahtijaid. I want this church to be filled with treasure hunters. Ma mina tahan, et see kogu selleks täidetud aarde jahtijatega. That we look past the dirt and we see the treasure that's on the inside of each and every person that God brings into this place. Et meie vaata mööda selles poriste meie näeme seda aarete, mille Jumal on pannud iga inimese sisse. Because Jesus said that is how the kingdom of God works. Selle pärast, et Jeesu ütse, et see on viis, kuidas Jumal kuning riik toimub. God puts things on the inside of people that will bless you. Jumal paneb inimestes asju, mis õnnistavad sinda. And you need to get that treasure into your life to have the blessing of God on your life. Ja sul on vaja saada sa aare ja enda ellu selleks, et saada Jumala õnnistust enda ellu. But to get the treasure, you have to buy the field. Aga selleks, et saada see aare, sul on vaja osta see põlde. To get the treasure, Selleks, et saada aare, you have to buy the field. Sina pead ostma selle põllu. And so you need to dig through some dirt then. Nii et siis sa pead sealt kaevama läbi selle pinnase. You need to dig down and, 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 and get to the part of each and every person that is valuable in the kingdom of God. Sa pead kaevama ja jõudma siis inimese juures selle väärtuslikku, nii, mis on siis väärtuslik Jumala kuningriigise. Because this principle stands is that everything God will give to you He's going to give you through somebody else. Every blessing that we receive in life comes through somebody. And that is why people have gifts and talents and abilities that are given by God. So that they could use those things for the kingdom. And so the person next to you, you need to know they have a treasure. But you also need to know that they have a field. Nobody is perfect. This church does not have one perfect person in it. And so don't think you have to be perfect to serve God. And when it comes to other people, don't, don't have expectations of perfection. Ja mis puutub teistesse inimestesse, siis ärgu olgu sul oot täiuslikus ootus because when we have an expectation of perfection in other people we are going to be disappointed every time selle pärast kui meil on täiuslikuse ootus teiste inimeste suhtes siis me iga kord saame pettuma on nii have you ever met somebody that never disappointed you kas oled kunagi kohanud kedagi kes mitte kunagi pole sulle pettumust valmistanud it's not going to happen mitte sellist asja ei saa juhtuma it's not going to happen ei ole sellist inimest and the more we know people mida enam meie tunnem inimesi 
the more we know about people. Seda rohkem me tunneme inimestest. Right? Teame and, nende kohta. And you might think, oh, well they just come to church every week and they're so smiley and so wonderful. They're just beautiful people. Sa võid mõelda seda, et oh, et nad käivad igal pühapäeval kohtus, nad on nii kenad, neil on nii ilus naeratus, nad on lihtsalt nii ilusad inimesed. But you don't know them Monday morning. Aga sina ei tunne neid esmas pommikul. You don't know them Tuesday night. Sina ei tea, kui millised nad on teisipä õhtul. You know anybody could show up for two hours and look nice. Iga üks võib ilmuda kohale kaheks tunniks ja näha välja väga kena. But but you Know, what is their life really like? Go spend some time with them and you will see, yes, they have a treasure, but they also have a field. And the treasure in them is for blessing others. But the field is something that they have to deal with. But for us to access the treasure, we need to honor them even though they have a field. And so if, if you know that, that there's a treasure in each and every person, if you understand that there's something in everybody that will add value to you, this will inspire us to honor one another the way that Jesus would want us to do. And so honor is a principle that will unlock the treasure in other people for you. Austus on prinsiipe, mis on see võti, mis oma paarde teistes sinu jaoks. And when we treat others with honor, ja kui meie kohtleme teisi austusega, their treasure will begin to shine. Siis nende aare hakkab särama. This is a principle that I have watched happen in my own life and in our own church. Ja see on prinsiip, mida ma olen näinud enda elus ja siin koguduses. Is when we begin to honor people, they begin to shine more and more for the Lord. Kui meie hakkame austama inimesi, siis nemad hakkavad rohkem ja rohkem särama. And people like to be uh, noticed. People like to be appreciated. You like to come to church and, and people welcome you here. And that is, that is one of the ways that we show honor. And when we do that, there's something in you that begins to shine more and more for the Lord. And so, there is blessing in each and every person. But for that blessing to be able to bless you, we have got to qualify for the blessing that people have. Then they can bless us. And so a lot of times, like I was saying, you know, our, our prayer is bless me, bless me. You know, I want to go to church today. I want people to, to bless me. I want to be blessed at church. And, and that's great, and that's fine. Yeah, same back here. But what are you doing to be able to access treasure? Are you living in a way that will allow God to use others to be a blessing to you? Because we have got to learn to tap into the gift on the inside of other people for God to be able to bless us. And honor is something that has to be given. And honor is something that needs to be recognized. If you don't recognize uh, somebody of value, you will not honor them. And so what we have got to do is we've got to begin to look at people and realize they have value and show honor to everyone. And so we're looking at how we can do that as a, as a church. But really what I'm wanting this to do is to create within you a standard for yourself. That you will choose to honor 
everyone because it's your standard of living. Et sina valida austad igat ühte, kuna see on sinu elu standarde. Learn to honor the people that God put into your life. Õppi austama need inimesi, kellet Jumal sinu elu on pannud. Because your miracle might be standing in front of you. Selle pärast, et sinu ime võib seista sinu eese. The answer to your prayer might have just walked into the room. Vastus sinu palvel võis just kõndida sisse siia ruumi. And so we have got to learn to honor everyone to give God ways to be able to bless us. Nii et me peame õppima austama igalt ühte selleks, et Jumal saaks meid õnnistada. And then we could receive more blessing. Ja siis me saame vastu võtta rohkem õnnistust. And we could be a greater blessing ourselves. Ja me siis me ise saame olla veel suuremaks õnnistuseks. Go, go with me back a couple pages to Matthew chapter 10. Lähen paar lehekülge tagasi. Mattes on keelium künnes peadük. Matthew chapter 10, and this is Jesus teaching here again. Mattes on keelium künnes peadük ja Jeesus jällegi õpetab siin. I want to read here from verse 40. Ja soomin lugeda siit salmist 40. Matthew 10, 40. Mattes on kümme 40. And he, he who receives you receives me, and he who receives me receives the one who sent me. Kes teid vastu võtab, võtab vastu minu ja kes minu vastu võtab, võtab vastu minu läkitaja. So listen, listen to this principle. Nii et kuula seda prinsiipi. He who receives you receives me. See, kes võtab vastu, sinu võtab vastu minu. And he who receives me receives the one who sent me. Ja see, kes võtab vastu minu, võtab vastu selle, kes mind läkitas. And so if I receive you, Nii et kui mina võtan vastu sinda, I'm not just receiving you. Siis ma lihtsalt ei võta vastu sinda. If I'm receiving you, I'm receiving God. Kui mina võtan vastu sinu, siis ma võtan vastu Jumala. Because if I'm receiving you, I receive Jesus. Sebes, kui ma võtan vastu sinu, ma võtan vastu Jeesuse. And if I receive Jesus, I receive the one who sent Jesus. Ja kui ma võtan vastu Jeesus, siis ma võtan vastu selle, kes saatis Jeesuse. You see how this works? Kas sa näed, kuidas see toimib? For us to be able to access God, selleks, et meie pea saaksime ühenduse Jumalaga pärast tal ligi, we've got to show honor to one another. Meie peame austama üks teiste. And then in verse 41, it says this. Ja salmis 41 ütleb seda. Anyone who receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward and anyone who receives a righteous man because he is righteous will receive a righteous man's reward. Kes profeti vastu võtab ta profeti nime tõttu saab profeti palga ja kes õige vastu võtab õige inimese nime tõttu saab õige inimese palga. And so what is Jesus saying here? Nii et mida Jeesus ütleb siin? Jesus is saying if you receive a prophet as somebody who speaks for God. Ta ütleb seda, et kui sina võtad vastu profeti kui kellegi, kes räägib Jumala eest, then you're going to receive the same reward that the prophet will receive by speaking for God. Siis sina saad osa selles samast tasust, mille saab see profet, kui ta räägib Jumala eest. If you respect and honor the gift that is on the inside of a man of God. Kui sina respekteerid ja austad seda andi, mis on Jumala mehes, that gift is going to work for you. Siis see and toimib sinu jaoks. And that gift is going to bless you. Ja see and saab õnnistama sind. And so he t- says honor the man of God. Nii et ta ütleb, et austa Jumala meeste. But then he said and honor the righteous. Aga siis ta ütleb, so in other words, everybody in the family is righteous. We've been made righteous by Jesus Christ. And so if you receive a righteous person because they are righteous, you receive the reward of the righteous. And when God gives you a gift, when God puts something on the inside of you, Jumal sulle kingitus, annida, paneb midagi sinusse. he does not give you a gift for others. Siis, te, siis ta ei anna seda andi teiste jaoks. But he puts a gift and a call on your life so that you would freely give it to others. Ta anna... Did I say that wrong? All right, it's not for yourself. Sorry, that et, gift is not for yourself. Et see and ei ole sinu ise enda jaoks. I'm a little bit foggy. I took a little medicine this morning. I will be honest. Et vabandust olen natukene pilves jahku ütle. No jah, et natukene uimane, et kuna täna omikul võtsin rohtu. But anyway... The gift that God gives you, et, see and, mille Jumal sulle annab, it is not for yourself. See ei ole sinu ise enda jaoks. The gift that God gives you is for others. Vaid see and, mille Jumal sulle annab, see on teiste jaoks. And so God will put a gift and a call on you nii et Jumal paneb anni ja kutse sinusse for you to freely give it away to those that you come in contact with every day. Et sina vabalt tasuta annaksid seda ära teistel inimestel, nendega, kellega sa igapäevaselt puutud kokku. And I have to receive you to get what is in you. Ja mina pean vastu võtma sinu selleks, et saada seda, mis on sinus. And if I will do that, I will receive a blessing from God. Ja kui ma teen seda, siis ma võtan vastu innistuse Jumalalt. Not just from you. Mitte lihtsalt sinult. 
But if I receive you, I receive Jesus, I receive Jesus, I receive God. Vaid kui ma võtan vastu sinu, võtan ma vastu Jeesuse ja kui ma võtan vastu Jeesuse, võtan ma vastu Jumalalt. And so if I receive you, nii et kui mina võtan vastu sinu, if I'll honor you, kui ma austan sinda, God is able to use you to get a blessing into my siis life. Siis Jumal on võimene kasutama sind selle jaoks, et tuua innistus minu ellu. And this is how the kingdom of God works for us. Ja see on viis, kuidas Jumal kuning riik toimib meie jaoks. You know, again, not everybody who gets prayed for is going to get immediately healed. Ja jällegi, et iga inimene, kelles paletatakse, ei saa hetkeliselt terveks. And I'm Tada, I'm a witness of that here this morning. Ja mina siin olen selle tunnistus täna hommikul. You know, this is the first time, like I said, the first time in, in 25 years that I've struggled with a sickness for so long. Ja nagu ma ütlesin, et see on esimene kord 25 aasta jooksul, kui ma nii pikalt sinna võitan haigusega. But not everybody who's prayed for is going to get immediately healed. Aga mitte iga inimene, kelles paletatakse, ei saa hetkeliselt terveks. But we can still know that Jesus is our who. Aga me võime ikkagi teada seda, et Jeesus on meie kesse. Jesus is our healer. Jeesus on meie tervendaja. He's the one that's going to give us strength. Tema on see, kes annab meile tugevust. He's the one that's going to restore us back to a place of health. Tema on see, kes taastab meid jälle sinna tervise paika. And not everyone who saw Jesus himself got healed. People who honored the gift received the blessing. But some people, they disrespected Jesus and disrespected the gift on his life. And they did not get their blessing from ja, him. And God was not able to bless them. Ja, Jumal ei olnud õnistama neid. Why? Miks? Because they did not receive him. They were asking God for blessing, but they didn't receive Jesus. And so, uh, there, there, I want to look at a few, few examples here. Um, Jesus was in his hometown. And when he went into his hometown, the people there did not see him as somebody who could speak into their life. Ja kui Jeesus oli oma kodu linnas, siis inimesed ei vaadanud tema peale, kui kellegi peale, kes siis võib rääkida Jumala poolt neile. The Bible says his own people did not receive him. See piibel ütleb, et tema oma rahvas ei võtnud teda vastu. And so they did not receive from his gift. Nii et nad ei võtnud vastu tema anniste. Because they disrespected Jesus. Kuna nad kohtlesid lugu pidamatult Jeesusse. So that's one level. Nii et see on üks tase. But now uh, another time we see Jesus, he... He was traveling and he stopped by a well. And his disciples went into town to get some food. Jesus was tired, it was hot. And so he was sitting by the well and a, a woman came up to the well. And we've talked about this woman before. But Jesus, he had to work on her a little bit before he could be able to bless her. Aga Jeesus pidi natukene tema kallal enem tegema tööd enne kui ta sai teda õnnistada. Jesus wanted to reach out to her. He wanted to help her. Jeesus tahtis välja sirutuda tema nii ja tahtis teda aidata. But he needed to do some work first. Aga tal oli vaja kõigepealt esmalt teha tööde. And so when she walked up and, and she got her water. Nii et kui ta läks juurde, ta sai siis oma vee. Jesus said, hey, uh, could you get me some water too? I'm, I'm thirsty. Siis ta töötas naisele, et kuule naine, et anna mulle ka vette, mul on jogi anu. And this woman, she was kind of a cool chick. Ja see naine oli selline lahe tibi. And, and she was kind of smart aleck a little bit. Ja ta oli natuke, had a mouth on her. Ja ta oli natuke selline jutukas. And, and she said, well, you know, you don't even have a bucket. Ja ta ütles, et tead, sul isegi ei ole ämbrite. And Jesus said, well, if you really knew who was asking you for water, you'd probably ask you should probably ask me for some water. Jeesus ütles, et tead, tõenäoliselt kui sa teaksid, kes ma olen, siis sa küsiksid minu käest vette. And I would give you water you'd never thirst again. Mina annaks sulle vett ja sa enam kunagi januneks. And she was like, okay, smart guy, go ahead and give me some of that water. I don't have to come back here anymore. Ja siis ta ütles, et jah, jah, sa tark pea anna mul seda vett, siis ma enam ei pea tulema siia tagasi. And so Jesus was trying to reach her, but but she was she just she had come backs for everything. Et Jeesus sai proovise jõuda temanega selle naisel oli te iga asja suhtes oma vastusede. And so then Jesus switched his approach. Nii et Jeesus siis muutis oma lähenemisviisi. And he said, "All right, well, could you just go get your husband then? I want to talk to you both." Siis tõtsi, et tead, mina tõu oma mees parem siia, ma räägin teie mõlemaga. And the woman said, "I don't have a husband." Ja see naine ütles, et ah, mul ei ole meest. And this is when Jesus was able to reach her. Ja, siis Jeesus oli võimeline jõudma temane. Because then Jesus said, well, that, yeah, that's right. 
Kuna siis Jeesus ütles, ja täpselt Now, Jesus wanted to help this lady. Jeesus tahtis aidata seda naiste. But she had absolutely no honor for him. Aga tal ei olnud mitte mingisuguste austuste she, tema suhtes selle she naisel. She was not going to receive anything from a Jew. Et see naine ei olnud vastu võtma midagi juudilt. She had her wall up. You could see it in the conversation. Tal oli tema sein püsti, sa võid näha seda jutlusest. She wasn't going to receive anything from this man. Et ta ei olnud valmis mitte midagi vastu võtma sellelt mehelt. Until Kuni Jesus said, well, you're right, you don't have a husband. Jeesus ütles, et väga õige, sul ei ole meest. You've had five husbands. Sul on olnud viis meest. And the guy that you're with now? Ja see mees, kellega sa praegu oled koos. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ja ma tean. He's just a friend. Ta on lihtsalt sõber. You met those people et, that et, they, kas just, oled uh, yeah, they stay over sometimes, but they're, they're, they're just a friend. Ja, ja, nad jäävad mõnikorda minu juurde, aga nad on lihtsalt sõbrad. And so, so the, the, the friend Nii et sõber is who Jesus was talking about. On see, kellest Jeesus rääkis. And he was wanting both of them to come back so that he could speak it to their lives. Ta tahtis seda, et mõlemad tuleksid tagasi, nii et ta saaks rääkida nende ellu. And when Jesus spoke this, she stepped back, she said, ah. Oh, Ja kui Jeesus rääkis seda, siis naine astus tagasi niimoodi. I can kind of sense that maybe you're a prophet or something. Ja siis, et tead, kuule, ma võin tunda, et sa oled prophet või midagi selliste. And that, that point, she changed the way that she saw Jesus. Ja sellel hetkel ta muutis selle viisi, kuidas ta nägi Jeesust. Now she's open to hear from Jesus. Nüüd ta on avatud, et kuulda Jeesuselt. Now she will receive him for who he really is. Et nüüd ta võtab vastu tema sellisele, kes ta tegelikult on. And Jesus was the son of God from the very beginning. Ja Jeesus oli Jumala, Jumala poeg päris algusest. When he was sitting there under the tree, hot and tired, he was the son of God. Kui ta istus seal puu all, tal oli pala, tal oli väsinud, siis ta oli Jumala poeg. But he was unable to do anything for this lady aga ta ei olnud võimeline mitte midagi tegema selle naise jaoks until she saw him that that somebody that god could use kuni hetkeni kuni see naine nägi teda et ta on keegi keda jumal saab kasutada do you see that kas sa näed seda he tried he had to work with her ta proovis ta pidi tegema töö tema kallale had this conversation to get her to a place where she began to honor the gift on the inside of him. Neil pidi olema see vestus, kus koas see naine siis, et ta jõuaks sinna paika, kus ta austab teda selleks, et ta jõuaks annini. And once she changed the way that she saw him, ja kui ta muutis viisi, kuidas ta nägi teda, then Jesus was able to speak into her life. Siis Jeesus oli võimne rääkima tema ellu. And we don't know what all he said to her at that point. Ja me ei tea, mida ta kõik ütles temale sellest hetkest edasi. But we know at that point she was open to hear from God. Aga me teame seda, et sellel hetkel see naine oli avatud, et kuulda Jeesuselt. And then she became one of the first preachers of Jesus. Ja siis tema sai üks esimesi jutustajad, kes käis ja kuulutas Jeesuses. Because she ran back into her little village and she said, I want everybody to come with me. Come with me. You've got to hear this man who told me everything about my whole life. Kuna tema siis, ta, ta läks ja jooksis oma väiksesse külasse, kus ta hakkas rääkima, et tulge, ma räägin teile sellest mehest, kes ütles mulle kõike minu kohta. And so that, at that point, then Jesus was able to minister to the whole town. Ja siis Jeesus oli võimene teenima kogu linna. And so you have pe- in people in Jesus' own town they didn't receive him they didn't respect anything to do with him. Nii et oma linnas inimesed ei võtnud vastu Jeesust nad ei tahtnud aga pismis teha. They didn't receive anything from God. Nad ei võtnud vastu mitte kui midagi Jumalalt. And then you have this uh, this woman that Jesus had to work with for a while to get her to a place where she could receive. Aga siis on see naine kellega Jeesus oli vaja teha tööd et nane jooks paika kus ta on valmis vastu võtma. And then a third example would be like the example of the centurion. Ja kolmas nai kolmas näide oleks siis sellest uh, the Roman soldier. Roman soldier. Roma vähe pealikust. And, and, and uh, he asked Jesus if he would uh, heal his servant. Ja siis ta paluse Jeesust, et kuule, kas ta teeks terveks tema selle teenija. My servant is sick, will you heal them? Minu teenija on haigi, kas sa teeks seda terveks? And so Jesus is thinking, all right. Jeesus mõtleb, jah. Just like everybody else, uh, I'll come to your house. Täpselt nii nagu iga ühe teisega, ma tulen sinu koju. And I'll come pray for your servant. Ma tulen ja paletan sinu teenija eest. And... This centurion soldier he reacted differently to that. See vähe pealik, ta käitus teist moodi. And he said, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't ask you to come to my house." Ta ütleb, "Ei, ei, ma ei palunud, et sa tuleksid mu koju." <laughs> I just asked you if you would heal my servant. Ma lihtsalt palusin, et sa teeksid terveks mu 
teeni ja. He said all I need you to do is speak the word. Ta ütles, kõik, mis mul on maja on see, et ütle sõna. And if you'll just speak the word, my servant will be healed. Kui sina ütled sõna, siis minu teeni ja saab terveks. Because I know, I believe you're a man who has authority from God. Selle pärast ma tea, ma usun seda, et sina oled mees, kelle on meelevalt Jumalalt. So all you got to do is say yes and, and I, that's good enough for me. Kõik, mis sina pead ütlema on jah ja see on piisa minu jaoks. And so we see three different levels of people who were were, were receiving Jesus. Yeah, me näeme siis kolm erinevat taset, kus nende nende inimeste suhtes, kes võtsid vastu Jeesuse. And Jesus said this about this Roman soldier. Ja Jeesus ütles seda Rooma sõduri kohta. He wasn't even a Jew. See ei olnud, ta ei olnud isegi juute. He was a Roman soldier, what they would call a pagan. Ta oli Rooma juut, keda nemad kutsusid paganaks. And Jesus said, I have not seen such great faith in all of Israel. Jeesus ütles, ma ei ole näinud nii suurt usku kellelgi Iisraelis. And he said, go ahead and go home, your, serv- your servant's going to be fine. Ja ta ütles, et mina koju sinu teeni ja saab olema terve. And so we, we see here sometimes, you know, we, we can miss our miracle. Me näeme siin seda, et mõnikord me ei võime jääda ilma oma imest. Because we don't like the package that the miracle came in. Kuna meile ei meeldi see pakk. And there are things that I think that we can do to to miss a miracle. But I also believe there are things that we can do to get miracles into our lives. And, and, and we, we've got to know that, that there are things we could do to unlock the, the gift on the inside of other people. Ja musun, et on olemas kassu, mida meie saame teha selleks, et avada neid ande, mis on inimestes. And it comes through this principle of honor. Ja see tuleb läbi selle prinsiibi austamine. We would honor one another et meie austame üks teist to be able to receive them selleks, et olla võimused vastu võtma, et vastu, vastu võtta neid so that God would be able to use them possibly to be the answer to our prayer or to bless our lives. Selleks, et Jumal saaks kasutada neid, et õnnistada meid või siis aidata meid meluse. But God, he, you know, he doesn't just show up as God. Ja Jumal lihtsalt ei ilmu välja Jumalana. You ever noticed that? Kas oled kunagi märganud seda? When you pray, God bless me today. Kui sa palusid, Jumal õnnista mind täna. God doesn't show up as God and say, I bless you. Siis Jumal ei ilmu välja ütle, et ma, ma õnnistan sind. No. Hey, How does God bless us? Kuidas Jumal õnnistab meid? He'll bless us then when Thomas shows up. Ta õnnistab meid siis, kui Toomas ilmub välja. When Christy shows up. Kui Christy ilmub välja. When Janus shows up. Kui Janus ilmub välja. So we pray God bless me. Need me palume seda, et palusime, et Jumal õnnistab mind. And he will send people across our path to bless us. Ja tema saadab inimesi meie teele, kes meid õnnistavad. And we miss uh, if we miss honoring those people. Ja kui me ei austa need inimesi, then we're going to miss our blessing for that day. Siis me jääme ilma sellest õnnistusest tänaseks selleks päevaks. If we pray God bless me and Thomas shows up and we're just like Thomas. Kui me palume, et Jumal õnnista mind, siis ilmub Thomas välis, et ah oh, Thomas. Yeah, that guy's got so much dirt in his life. I don't even want to spend time with him. Sellel mehel on nii palju soppelus, ma ta ütsed tema ka aega veeta. You know, we 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 just disrespect him. We don't receive him. Me kohtame teda lugu pidamatult, me ütleme teda vastu. And at the end of our day, things aren't going right. We're like, God, what what's the problem? Ja päeva lõpuks asjad ei lähe hästi, siis me mõtleme, palume, küsime Jumal, et kuule, milles probleem on? How many know it's probably not him, it's probably us. Ja kas tead seda, tõenäoliselt probleem ei ole tema, see probleem on meis. Because God is going to be faithful. Kuna Jumal saab olema ustav. To get a blessing into your life. Et tuua õnnistus sinu ellu. If you will receive the ones that he has sent into your life. Sina võtad vastu need, kelle tema on saatnud sinu ellu. And so, you know, I'm not waiting for you to live right before I'm going to honor you. Mina ei oota seda, et sa elaksid õigesti enne kui ma hakkan sinda austama. I'm not waiting for you to go to a certain standard and then I say, okay, now I'm going to treat you like a real human. Ma ei oota seda, et sa jõuaksid enda elus teatud standardiini, kus sa hakkad käituma teatud standardi järgi, siis hakkan sind kohtlema nagu tõelist inimest. The love of Christ compels me to honor you. Ja Kristus armastus minus sunnib mind armasta, sunnib mind austama sinda. And, 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 you know, however you choose to live your life, I'm going to honor you. Kuidas iganes sina valid elada enda elu, mina austan sind. And it's not about you rising to a standard worthy of my honor. See ei ole see, et sina enda eluse tõuset tasemele, kus sa oled väärt minu austust. It's about me walking in a standard of honor for my own life. Vaid, see on asja selles, kui et mina enda elus elan, käin el- selles austuses standardis. It's not about you trying to gain my honor. See ei ole kuidagi nii, et sa proovid kuidagi välja teenida minu austust. The question is, well, I choose 
to honor you. Vaid küsimus on selles, kas mina valin austada sinda. Will you choose to honor other people? Kas sina valid austada teis inimesi? It's, it's our choice. See on meie valik. Don't say, well, you know, they don't live worthy of my honor. Ära ütle, et kuule, nemad küll ei ela väärt. Nad ei ela minu austuse vääriliselt. No, we need to honor one another as the Lord would want us to. Ei, me ei peame austama üksteist nii nagu issan tahab, et me teeks seda. A couple weeks ago we looked at this in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Ja paar nädalat tagasi me vaatasime seda teine kiri Korintlastel viies peatükke. But Paul said this, he said the love of Christ compels us. Paulus ütles seda, et Kristus armastus sunnib meida. So that we stop looking at you from a a human point of view. Nii et me ei enam ei vaata teide inimliku vaatega. I'm not just looking at you as a man or a woman. Mina ei vaata sinu peale lihtsalt kui mehe või naise peale. But I'm looking at you as a gift of God. Vaid mina vaatan sinu peale kui Jumala kingituse. And that's why I, I, I can treat everybody with kindness ja, and, and pärast, respect. Ja selle pärast ma saan kohal teia igalt ühte sinde, lahkelt, austusega, respektiga. Because I choose to look past Maybe some dirt. Kuna siis ma olen otsustanud ja mööda vaadata poriste. Because I realize and I know that God has put a treasure on the inside kuna, of each and every one of you. Kuna ma mõistan seda, et Jumal on panud aard igas ööasse teiste. And so we are not to be, be a judge of anyone's field. Nii et me ei peaks olema mitte kellegi põllu hindajada. You know, God did not call us to be the judge. He's the judge. Jumal ei kohtunud, ei kutsul meide kohtumõistjaks. Tema on kohtumõistja. The, you know, and, and the part of somebody that doesn't act right. Ja see osa kelleski, mis ei käitu õigesti. The part of somebody that's just, you know, flesh, the Bible calls See osa kelleski, mis on lihtsalt, see on liha, piibel nimetab seda lihaks. The part of somebody's life that is full of problems and, and, and you know, it's not really matching what it should be. Osa kellegi elus, mis on lihtsalt väga problemaatiline, mis ei lähe kokku sellega, nagu ta peaks olema. If I choose to honor you, kui mina otsustan austada sinda, I'm going to have to get past that dirt siis mina pean saama mööda sellest poris sopast and get to that valuable treasure that's on the inside. Ja jõudma selle väärtusiku aardeni, mis on sees, sinu and sees. This is one thing that I've noticed. Ja see on üks asi, mida mina olen märganud. It's when I'm around somebody who honors me. Kui mina olen kellegi lähedal, kes austab mind. And we all know who those people are in our life. Ja me kõik teame, kes need inimesed on me eluse. And when we're around somebody who honors us. Ja kui me oleme kellegi lähedal, kes austab meide. When we're in their presence, we rise or we try to rise to a higher level. Kui me oleme nende lähedal, siis kes, selle inimese lähedal, kes austab meid, siis me tõuseme või me tahame tõusta kõrgemale tasemele. When somebody honors me and when I'm with them I try to be more honorable. Kui keegi austab mind, ma olen temaga koos, siis ma proovin olla rohkem auväärne. Are you kind of the same way? Kas sinu kan sarnaselt? You know when somebody expects you to live at a certain standard when you're around them, you live at a certain standard. Keegi ootab, et sa elaksid teatud standardi järgi, ta kohtleb sind austusega, siis sa tahad elada selle standardi järgi. You know when I'm at home and Brenda makes me some food, Kui ma olen kodus, Brenda teeb mulle süüa. Sometimes I'll just kick back on the couch, throw it on my lap, getting crumbs everywhere. Et siis mõnikord ma lihtsalt seal oma tiivane peal niimoodi olen seal lõsakil, söön seal niimoodi, et igal pool on seda puru. And put the TV on. Panen teleka mängima. Just chilling out. Lihtsalt olen seal ja chillin. But, you know, uh, this last week we got invited to some big fancy dinner. Eemne nädal meid kutsuti kuskile sellel väga peenesse kohta sööma. And we had to dress up. Me pidime korralikult ennast riide panema. We had to act nice. Pidime väga viisakalt käituma. Why? Miks? Because we were being honored in a special way. Kuna meid austati erilisel viisile. And there was something required from us and so I rose to that level. Nii et meid ka oodati midagi, nii et me pidime tõusma sellele teatud tasemele. When they gave me the food, I didn't sit down and you know, throw off all my jackets and Kuna, it comes everywhere. Kuna tantside meile selle söögi, siis ma ei eitnud sinna kuidagi lõsakile niimoodi hõlma eest lahti ja sööma puru igal pool. This is just how I eat, man. If you want to come to my house, this is how I eat. See you don't like it, vii- fine. See, see on lihtsalt viis, kui ta ma söön. Tule vaatama kodus, kui ma teen seda. Kus sulle ei meeldi, siis olgu sinuga. No, 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 no. Ei, ei. I rose to another standard of eating etiquette. Ei, ma tõusin teisele standardile oma söömise etiketise. All right. When somebody requires something from us, we tend to rise up. Kui keegi ootab meist midagi, siis meil on kalduvus tõusta paremale, kõrgemale. And when we're kõrgemale. honoring one another, ja, kui me austame üks teiste, when we get around one another, we're going to rise up. Siis kui, ja siis kui me saame kokku, siis me tõuseme kõrgemale. When I'm, when I'm receiving from the gift that you have, kui mina võtan vastu sellest annist, mis sul on, from the things that God has put into your life, nendest asjadest, mis Jumal on panud sinu ellu, 
It's going to make you want to shine that gift a little bit. See teeb seda, et sa tahad lasta sellele annil veel enam särada. You're going to say, okay, I want to, I want to, I want to make sure that, you know, he really is, is getting what he's, what he's offering. Et, et siis sa, sa ütled seda siis tead, ma tõeliselt tahan seda, et ta võiks saada seda, mis on pakkuda talle. I don't want to disappoint anybody in my ma, life. Ma ei taha mitte kedagi, mitte kellegile valmistada pettumust. And so we push one another to live better. Nii et meie siis lükkame üksteist elama paremini. How do we do that? Kuidas me teeme seda? By looking at the dirt. Läbi selle, et me vaatame, otsime seda porja sopa. Sa vabaks oma poriste sopast. No, that's not what Jesus said. Ei, Jeesus ei teinud nii, ta ei öelnud nii. Jesus said, we cause one another to rise to a higher level when we look at the gift and the treasure and the valuable things on the inside. Jeesus ütles, et me saame, me saame teha nii üks teisega, et me saame üks teist tõsta kõrgemale, kui me vaatame, otsime üks teise seda andi, mis nendesse Jumal pannud on. You getting something out of this? You're really quiet today. I hope you're getting this. Because this is a standard of how we are to treat one another in the kingdom. And it's important for us to receive each other to be able to receive our reward. And not just, you know, honoring the, the, the big important people. Ja, nii et me ei auksta lihtsalt neid suurid, tähtsad inimesi. But we would honor all who are, are called by the name of God. Vaid me ei auksta migat ühte, keda kutsutakse Jumala nimega. You know, and, and again, when we pray and ask God for help, kui Thomas pa- is probably going to show up. Kui me palutame, palume abi Jumalalt, siis tõenäoliselt, et Thomas ilmub välja. And so God is, is going to show up in Thomas, but I need to recognize that. Nii et Jumal siis ilmub välja Thomases ja me peame selle ära tunnma. And if I don't recognize that, I'm not going to get what it is that God wants to give to me. Kui mina ei tunne seda ära, siis ma ei saa vastu võtta seda, mida Jumal mulle tahab anda. I could miss the answer to my prayer. Mina võin ilma jääda sellest vastuses minu palvele. And, and you know, even though Thomas may not live as a great man of God. Ja kuigi see Thomas ta ei pruugi elada kui väga selline suur Jumala kartlik mees. When I recognize him right, kui mina teda tunnen ära õigel viisile, I could receive from the gift that God has put in him for me. Siis mul on võimalus vastu võtta sellest annis, mille Jumal on pannud temasse. And so the love of Christ compels us. Nii et Kristuse armastus sunnib meid to go after the treasure. Minna selle aarde järgi. But to get to the treasure, we buy the whole field. I'll receive you just like you are. Because I believe God's got something special that he's put on the inside of you. And if I will focus on what God's put in you, Ja kui mina keskendun sellele, mis Jumal on panud sinusse, I believe your field will begin to change. Mus on seda, et sinu põld hakkab siis muutuma. And a field that might be very, very dirty to begin with, but later on it could become a, a beautiful thing. Alguses see põld võib olla väga sopane, aga lõpus see võib saada väga ilusaks. And we're going to discuss that here as we go forward in the weeks to come. Ja sest me rääkime, kui me läheme siin veel mõned nädalad edasi. But God takes great things. Aga Jumal võtab vägevad asjad. And he puts them in common things. Ja paneb need tavalistes asjadesse. Let me say that again, because this is an important point. Uuesti, kuna see on tähtis punkte. God takes great things and he puts them in common things. Jumal võtab võimsed asjad ja ta paneb need tavalistes asjadesse. Remember when, when uh, the prophet was, was given the, the task by God to go anoint the next king? Mäletad seda, kui profetile anti ülesanne minna ja võida järgmine kuningas. And this is in 1 Samuel chapter 16. You could read this chapter later. Ja see on esimene Saamali 16. Hiljem võid lugeda selle peatükki. But the prophet was, was told by God to go to Jesse's house. Aga Jumal ütles profetile, et ta läheks siis Iisai Maija and in Jesse's house, one of his sons is going to be the next king of Israel. Ja, üks Iisai poegades saab olema järgmine kuingas. And so, so Samuel, you go there and you anoint him. Nii et Samuel, sina mine sinna ja võia teda. And so, uh, you know, he shows up at Jesse's house and he says, Hey, Jesse, God told me one of your boys is going to be king. Ta läheb sinna, Iisai Maija, ja sütleb tead. Jumal ütles mulle seda, et üks sinu poegades saab olema kuningas. So call all your boys in and we're going to see which one, God's going to show me which one it's going to be. Nii et kutsu oma poisid siia, Jumal näitab mulle, mille neid saab olema kuningas. He calls seven sons into the room. Seda kutsub seitse poega sinna tuppa. The big, tall, handsome ones. Suured, ilusad. The strong ones. Tugevad. The smart ones. Targad. He went through all seven sons and he says, Jesse, God doesn't say any of these is one of your, 
there's none of them are going to be king. Sorry. Ja siis ta vaatab, kõigi nende seitsme peale ütleb Iisaele, kuule, ükski neist ei ole kuningas. Jumal ei ole valinud neid kahju. Are you sure you don't have any other sons? Kas oled kindel, et sul rohkem ei ole poegi? He said, well, I've got one more, but he's, you know, he's out taking care of the sheep. Ta ütleb, mul üks veel on, aga ta on seal lambad hoidmas. You know, David wasn't even invited to the king party. Ta avetid isegi kutsutud kuninga peole. He wasn't even, he, they didn't even think to ask him. Why? Miks? Because his brothers were like, they looked like kings. Kuna tema vennad paitsid välja nagu kuningad. They walked in a room and everybody was like, ooh, no, nice looking guy. Sinna, tuppa sisse, siis, wow, väga, kena noor mees. David was out shoveling sheep poop. Taavet oli seal lavidega viskas lamba sõnnikute. That was his job. See oli tema töö. And Jesse thought, well, I don't want to bring him in here. He stinks. Isa mõtts, ma ei taha tuua teda, siia ta haiseb. And so he said, all right, we'll bring in David, I guess. I don't know. No jah, küll ma toon, siis taaveti siia, ma ei tea ka. And when David walked in, ja kui taavet astus sisse, God said, the rest of these boys look like kings. Siis Jumal ütles, et need teised poisid paistavad kuningamoodi välja. But they've got nothing on the inside of them. Aga neis ei ole mitte midagi nende sees. This little boy might not look like a king. See poise ei pruugi välja paiste kui kuningas. But there's a king on the inside of him. Tema sees on kuningas. There's a gift on the inside of him. Tema sees on ainda. He's the one anoint David. Tema on see võia tema kuningaks. God took a valuable precious thing. Jumal võttis ka väärtusiku kalli asja and he put it in somebody who looked very common. Ja ta pani selle kellessegi, kes paistis välja väga tavaline. David is still known today as the greatest king Israel has ever had. Taavet on täni tuntud kui kõige võimsam, kõige parem kuningas, kes Iisraeli kunagi olnud on. Not because he was a king on the outside, because he was a king on the inside. Mitte sellepärast, et ta oli kuningas väliselt, vaid kuna tema oli kuningas seespidiselt. And they had to get past his dirt to access his treasure. Ja nad pidi ta saama mööda tema poriste, et jõuda tema aardene. They had to get past what it looked like and what he acted like to see that there is something special in this man. Nad pidid saama mööda selles, kuidas ta välja nägi, kuidas ta käitus, selleks, et jõuda tema nii selle väga erilise nii, kes ta oli. And so God takes something great and he puts it in something common. Nii et Jumal võtab midagi väga võimast ja ta paneb selle millegisse tavalisse. Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is like a a treasure that was hidden in a field. Jees ütles seda, et Jumala kuning riik on just kui aaremis pandi põllusse. And this is how it is with you and this is how it is with every person that you will ever meet in your life. Ja nii on sinuga ja iga inimesega, kellega sa kunagi saad enda elus kohtuma. And so we've got to know how it is that God operates. Nii et me peame teama, kuidas Jumal toimib. And if we can get past the field, Ja kui me saame mööda sellest põllust, we can be able to access the treasure in people's lives. Siis me saame olla võimelised et pääsema selle aarde inimest elus. And how we treat one another is so important to God. Ja see viis, kuidas me kohtleme üksteist on nii tähtis Jumala jaoks. Go back with me to Numbers chapter 6. Ja palun läheme tagasi nüüd neli Moosese raamat, neljas Moosese raamat kuues pealtük. Numbers chapter 6. Neljas Moosese raamat ja kuues pealtük. I want you to see this here. God wanted to put a blessing on his people. Ja me nagu peame vaatama siin midagi, et Jumal tahtis panna õnnistust oma rahva üle. I want you to see how the blessing of God got to the people. Ja ma tahan, et sa näeksid seda, et kuidas see Jumala õnnistus sai siis tema rahva peale. So Numbers chapter 6, and I want to start reading here with verse 22. Nii et neljas Moose raamat kuues peadükke soovin alustada salmis 22. The Lord said to Moses. Ja issand rääkis Moosesega. Who was speaking? Et kes siin rääkis? The Lord. Isan rääkis. Okay. The Lord said to Moses. Isan ütle rääkis Moosesega. Tell Aaron and his sons, this is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them. Üldes räägi Aaroni ja ta poegadega ning ütle õnnistades. Ah, ja räägi Aaroni ja ta poegadega ning ütle. And then in verse 24. Õnnistades Iisrae lapsi öelge neile nõnda ja salmis 24. Says, and, and the Lord will bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Issand õnnista ku sind ja hoid ku sind. Issand lask oma pale paista sinu peale ja olgu sulle armuline. So that they will put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. Issand tõsk oma pale sinu üle ja and ku sulle rahu nõnda panda ku minu nimi Iisrael laste peale ja mina õnnistan neide. Okay, so who did God speak to? Nii et kellele Jumal rääkis? 
to Moses. Moses ele. Did Aaron hear from God? Kas Aaron kuulis Jumalalt? No. Ei. Did the Israelites hear from God? Kas Israelise kuulisid kuul, kuulisid Jumala käest? No. Ei. Did God speak to the Israelites? Kas Jumal rääkis Iisraelastele? He didn't do that. Ta ei teinud seda. Were the Israelites blessed? Kas Iisraelised said õnnistatud? Yes. Ja. How did this work? Et kuidas see toimib? God spoke to Moses. Moses spoke to Aaron. Aaron spoke to the people. God blessed the people. Jumal rääkis Moosesele, Mooses rääkis Aaronile, Aaron rääkis inimestele ja Jumal õnnistas rahvaste. And we think, why didn't God just come down and bless the people? Ja me mõtleb, mille pärast lihtsalt Jumal ei tulnud sinna alla ja ei õnnistanud inimesi. It would have been a whole lot more easy. See oleks olnud ju palju kergem. And God just showed up and blessed people. And that's, that's, God bless me. Kui Jumal oleks lihtsalt ilmunud sinna kohale, Jumal õnnista mind. Wouldn't that just be a whole lot easier? Kas see oleks olnud lihtsalt palju lihtsam? Why do you have to use somebody else, God? Just you bless me. Jumal, miks sa pead kasutama kedagi teist, lihtsalt sina õnnista mind? If God is going to do anything in your life, he's going to use other people to do it. Kui Jumal saab tegema midagi sinu elus, ta saab kasutama selleks kedagi teiste. And God wanted to bless Israel. Sinu õnnistamiseks ja Jumal tahtis õnnistada Iisraeli. So God told Moses how to get the blessing to the people. Nii et Jumal ütles Moosesele kuidas saada see õnnistus rahvani. And, and the priests were the ones who were going to bless the people. Ja preestid olid need, kes pidid siis õnnistama rahvast. And so Aaron is the one who's going to be saying the blessing. Nii et Aaron siis oli see siis, kes ütles seda õnnistust. Because Moses told him what to say. Kuna Moos ütles tal mida öelda. But the people had to receive it from Aaron. Aga rahvas pidi selle vastu võtma Aaronilt. Not God. Mitte Jumalalt. Not their great leader Moses. Mitte nende, nende suurelt juhilt Mooseselt. They had to receive it from Aaron. Na pidi selle vastu võtma Aaronilt. But if they received what it was that Aaron was saying, God himself was going to put his name on each and every one of them. Aga kui nad võtsid vastu selle, mis Aaron neile andis, siis nad võtsid vastu Jumalalt selle nime, mille Jumal pan selle õnnistu God, God would bless them and put his name on each one siis, of them. Siis Jumal nende igat ühte ja pani oma nime nende iga ühe üle. And so they had to receive Aaron first. Nii et nad pidid esmalt vastu võtma Aaroni. But let's kind of get real in this story. Aga võtame nüüd ja muutume tõeliseks siin loos. Because sometimes I think we read the Bible and think that they were just all kind of real spiritual robots. Ma arvan seda, et mõnikord me loeme piivlit ja mõtleme seda, et nad kõik olid lihtsalt sellised väga vaimulikud robotid. When, when Moses went to Aaron, Kui Mooses läks Aaroni juurde. It says listen this is what God says. Et kuule, see on see mida Jumal ütles. God says that, that you are to go and you're going to go speak to the people and this is what you're going to tell them. Jumal ütles et teada, sa lähed ja räägid rahvale ja see on see mida sina neile ütleda. And, and, and the Lord told me that if you will do that ja isa ütles et tead kui sina teed seda, then God will use what you say and he will put his name on each and every one of them. Siis isa on võtab selle mida sa ütled ja paneb oma nime iga ühe üle. And he will bless the people. Ja, tema õnnistab rahvaste. You know what Aaron's first thought probably was? Ja kas teha, mis see tõenäoliselt, et Aaron esimene mõte oli? Well, God didn't tell me that. Et Jumal mulle ei öelnud seda. Huh? Have you ever talked to somebody? Kas oled kunagi rääkinud kellegagi? He said, you know, I really believe that the Lord is leading me to say that, that you know, what about this in your life? Tead, et isand on, ma tõeliselt tunnen seda, et isand on juhtinud mind, et tulla sinu juurde ja küsida sinu käest, et kuule, et kuidas sul on selle asja kasu elus. And their answer is, well, God didn't tell me that. Nende vastu on see, Jumal mulle ei ole öelnud midagi selle kohta. All right, that's fine if God told you, but he didn't tell me. See on väga hea, kui Jumal ütles sulle, aga mulle ta ei ole midagi öelnud. All right, what are they doing? Et mis nad teevad? They're blocking what God wants to do in their life. Nad blokkivad ära selle, mida Jumal tahaks teha nende elus. Oh, it's fine if you believe that. Et väga hea, kui sina usud seda. But I don't believe that. Aga mina ei usu seda. Well, it's, it's, you know, you believe in that prosperity stuff? Yeah, sure. Et sina ja loomulikult usud seda jõukuse värki. Yeah, but but you know, not me. Mina mitte. You believe in all that healing stuff? That's fine, but but not me. Sina usud kogu seda tervemise värki, aga mina mitte. Listen, that's, if you don't believe it, don't worry about it. You're never going to have to deal with it. Et tead, kui sina ei usu seda, see ära muretse, sa mitte kunagi pea sellega tegelema. You're not going to have to deal with that prosperity stuff. You're not going to have to deal with that healing stuff. Sa don't worry about it. Sa ei kunagi pea tegelema selle jõukuse asjaga, aga selle tervemise asjaga ära muretse üldse. But if you will believe it, aga kui sina usud seda, those things can be reality for you. Siis need asjad võivad olla reaalsuseks sinu jaoks. Hallelujah. I'm, Hallelujah. I'm an example of that. Ja, mina olen selle näide. God has blessed me. God has supernaturally helped me through my life. Jumal on mind õnnistanud, ta on üle loomulikult aidanud minu elus. It's because I look to him for that. Kuna mina vaatasin tema poole selle. And I look how he, could act, how he could bless me in my life. Ja, siis on näha, kuidas ta saab mind õnnistada mu elus. And so, again, 
we pray to God for help. And God is going to use some very common things to help us. And, and they had to, you know, the people had to receive it from Aaron. Aaron had to receive it from Moses. And it, you know, these were the guys that you know, they weren't perfect. You know, Moses takes off to the mountain. Aaron takes everybody's jewelry, makes a gold god and dances around naked. You know, and, and, you know, was he perfect? No. But he had a heart and a gift that God wanted to use. Hello. Hello. And so they, they, they had to kind of get past some of the dirt and say, okay, well, I believe what you're about to say is from God, Aaron. Because I believe that Moses told this to you. And I believe that Moses heard this from God. And I believe that God wants to bless me. And so Aaron, I'm going to listen to what you have to say. This is how we need to treat one another in the body of Christ. We have got to get to a place of honor and respect for others. And God is saying this, if you will hear my word through Aaron, I will bless you. And and you'll receive my blessing upon your life. And when Moses spoke, ja kui Moses rääkis, who was speaking? Siis kes rääkis? The Lord. Isand rääkis. Right? On nii. He was giving the word of the Lord. Et tema sõnaida, but it was coming through his vessel. Aga see tuli läbi tema asja. Sometimes we don't like that, do we? That God would choose to use somebody else that's got a bunch of dirt to come and speak to me. And so for Aaron to hear from God, he has to hear Moses. For Aaron to hear from God, he has to hear Moses. Aaron saaks kuulda Jumala käest, midagi ta pidi kuulma Moosest. And if he doesn't hear Moses, ja kui ta ei kuule Moosest, he doesn't hear from God. Siis ta ei kuule Jumalalt. And the people then will not be blessed. Ja siis inimesed ei saa olema õnnistatud. God is trying to bless his people. Inimesed Jumal proovib õnnistada oma inimesi. But there were there was a protocol and a standard of honor that had to be in place. Aga seal olemas austuse protokoll ja prinsiip, mis pidi olema paigas. There was there was a there was things that had to be done in the right order. There was a protocol that needed to be done. The leaders would speak to the people. And then through them the blessing of God would come. And then the honor standard had to be upon his words as if they were God's words himself. And God is trying to get the blessing to the people, not to the leadership. You know, when somebody stands up to speak for God, it's not about them trying to get the blessing. The heart should be, I'm, I'm trying to get the blessing to the people. And so, uh, anything that God sends, he's going to send through leadership. As God sends something to the church, he's going to use the leadership to deliver that message. And if not, it's just kind of like the blind leading the blind. But God uses people to lead people. But if we keep our hearts right, we could say that we are led by God. Amen. Amen. I can boldly say God is leading this church. He's like, well, I thought you were leading this church. I'm doing the best I can to hear from God et kuulda Jumalalt, so that I could have something for you. Selleks, et mul saaks olla midagi sinu jaoks. And so even though I might be in position of leadership, I believe God is the one leading the church. God uses people to lead 
people. Jumal kasutab inimesi sellek, Jumal kasutab inimeste juhtimiseks inimesi. And when God speaks into your life many times, he will do it through speaking speaking through somebody else. Ja kui Jumal räägib sinu ellus, ta väga tihti räägib läbi teiste. And so when the people heard Aaron, they heard God. Nii et kui inimesed kuulsid Aaronit, ta kuulsid Jumalalt. And they were blessed. Ja nad olid õnnistatud. Now go back with me to Matthew. Ja läheme palun tagasi Matteus evangeliumisse. Matthew chapter 23 now. Matteus 23 nüüd. Matthew chapter 23 and I want to look here in verse 39. Matteus 23 ja salmis 39. It's the last part of this last verse in, in this chapter. Jesus is getting a point across. Ja si viimases osas selles salmis Jeesus proob sin teatud asja inimeste nii tuua. Matthew 23:39 he says for I tell you that you will not see me again until you say blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Matteus 23:39 sest ma ütlen teile et te ei näe min nüüd sest enam kuni te ütlete õnnistatud olgu kes tuleb issanda nimel. Jesus told them you're not going to see me. Jeesus ütles et te ei näe mind until you can say blessed is the one who comes in his name. Enne kui te ütlete õnnistatud on tema kes tuleb tema nimel. You get what Jesus is saying? Et kas saate aru seda, mida Jeesus ütleb? When we show up, kui me ilmume kohale, he shows up in us. Siis tema ilmub kohale meis. And when we recognize one another as carriers of God, ja kui meie tunneme ära üks teiste, kui Jumala kandjaid, God is going to be able to bless people. Siis Jumal on võimeline õnnistama inimesi. And you know, you have a gift and I desire your gift to be able to bless me in my life. Ja tea seda, et sul, sinus on olemas and ja ma igatsen seda, et sinu and saaks õnnistama mind. But when we honor the ones who come in the name of the Lord, aga kui me jaokstame neid, kes tulevad issanda nimel, that is when we are going to get the blessing that the Lord wants on us. Siis me saame selle õnnistuse, mida Jumal tahab meie üle. When we see others in the right way, we are going to see Jesus. Kui me näeme teisi õigel viisid, siis me näeme Jeesust. And we're going to receive the blessing from Jesus. Ja me võtame vastu õnnistuse Jeesuselt. But I have to receive you before I can get what is in you. Aga mina peame võtma vastu sinu enne kui ma saan võtta sellest, mis on sinuse. And you have to receive me before you get what's in me. Ja sina pead vastu võtma minu enne kui sa saad seda, mis on minuse. And if if I disrespect you, ja kui mina kohtlen sind lugu pidamatult, I'm not going to get the reward that I could get from you. Siis ma ei saa seda tasu, mida ma võiksin saada sinust. And some of us we may have missed our blessing in life. Ja mõned meist on võib-olla jäänud ilma sellest õnnistusest meie elus. Because the blessing showed up in a package we didn't we didn't honor, we didn't we didn't want. Kuna see pakk enda ilmuse kohale sellisena nagu meile ei meeldi või nagu me ei tahtnud. But opportunities are going to come around again. Aga need võimalused tulevad jälle su ümbere. Because God is still going to want to bless you. Kuna Jumal ikkagi tahab jällegi, ta tahab sind õnnistada. And when it comes around again the next time we need to be ready to honor anyone. Ja kui see jälle järgmine kord tuleb sinu sini, siis me peame olema valmise austama seda pakendite. And then we're going to be able to receive the treasure that God put in other people's lives. Ja siis me oleme võimesed vastu võtma seda aaret, mille Jumal on panud teistesse. Excuse me. Pabandust. And so for us to receive the treasure, we have got to honor the whole person. Nii et selleks meie saaksime vastu võtta aarde, me peame vastu võtma kogu isiku. To receive the treasure, selleks et vastu võtta aare, we have to buy the whole field. Meie peame ostma kogu põllu. Well, I don't like their field. Ei mulle meeldi nende põlda. It's not about the field, it's about the treasure. Ei, asi ei ole põllused, asi on aardes. It's the treasure something you like. Et see on aare on see midagi, mis sulle meeldib. Then let's receive them in the name of the Lord. Siis võtame neid vastu issanda nimele. Now, let me just stop and let me just talk to you as as a pastor. Lasu ma peatun ja räägin sulle pastorina. If you disrespect me Kui as your pastor. Sina kohtled mind lugu pidamatult ja kui ma pastor. If you go home and you're talking negative stuff about me. Kui sina lähed koju räägid negatiivseid asju minu kohta. You're talking things to your kids and to your wife and to your friends. Räägid oma lastele, oma sõpradele, oma naisele midagi halba minust. You are not going to be able to then come in here. Siis siis sina ei ole võimeline siia tulema and receive from me. Ja vastu võtma minult. You're not going to get anything out of what I would have to say. mitte kui midagi sellest, mis mul oleks sulle öelda. If you're going to receive from what I have to say, kui sina tahad vastu võtta sellest, mis mul on öelda, it is not going to, going to be based on me having the right words. Siis ei saa põhinema sellele, et mul nüüd oleks õiget sõnad sinu jaoks. Well, he just didn't preach very good today because I didn't get nothing. Ta lihtsalt ei jutlustanud täna väga hästi, kuna ma ei saa mitte midagi. All right, have you ever thought that? Kas kunagi oled mõelnud nii? Let's, oh, thank you. Christina, Aitäh. I appreciate you. you. Want to go out to lunch afterwards? You're Christina, ma väga hindan sind. Kas tahab pärast lähme lõuna sõgile või? But, all right. Uh, you know, if you don't honor, 
et kui sina ei austa, you're not going to get nothing. Siis sa ei saa ka mitte midagi. And every time you come in, ja iga kord, kui sina tuled, if you would choose to honor Kui sina valida austada, you're going to get lots of stuff. Siis sina saad palju seda asju. And so if you've ever been sitting here and thought, well, he didn't preach very good today because I didn't get nothing. Nii et kui sina kunagi oled siin istunud ja mõelnud, et ta eriti hästi täna küll ei jutusta, ma ei saa mitte midagi. It's not a problem with me and what I said. Siis asja ei ole, probleem ei ole selles, mida mina ütlesin või minus. It's a problem with the way that you received me today. Vaid ja probleem on selles, kuidas sina mind täna vastu võtsid. What were you expecting? Mida sina ootasid? What were you believing God for? Mida sina uskusid Jumalat? What were you listening for? Mida sina kuulasid? Mida sa ootasid? Were you just expecting me to come in and blow you away? Kas sa lihtsalt ootsid seda, et mina tulen ja lihtsalt räägin sinu jutuse, mis on täiesti silmi meeli pimestav? Or did you come into church expecting to hear from God? Või sa tulid kogudusse ootusega kuulda Jumala käest midagi? I want us to come to church not to hear from me or whoever would be up here, My... but to come to church to hear from God. Ma ei taha seda, et meie tuleksime kogudusse nii, et kuulda minu käest või kellegi inimese käest, kes siin ees on rääkimas, vaid et sel- me tuleme siia ootusega kuulda midagi Jumalat. Amen? Amen. Now, who's he going to use? Nii et, aga keda ta kasutab selleks? I come to church here from God, but God didn't show up. Ma tulen kogudusse, et kuulda Jumala käest, aga Jumala, Jumala ei tulnud kohale. No, but he could show up in me. Ja, aga ta võib, ta võib ilmuda siia minu, minu näole. And if you receive me in the name of the Lord, he will get a blessing to you. Ja, kui sina võtad vastu minu isselda nimel, siis tema saab kasutada mind sinu ennistamiseks. If you believe I have a word from God today, it will bless you. Kui sa usud seda, et mul on täna sõna Jumalalt sinu jaoks, siis see saab sind ennistada. If you believe that I'm a fake and, you know, anything I have to say doesn't matter. Kui sa arvad seda, et ma olen võlts ja kõik, mis mul öelda on, ei üldse oma mingit tähtsust, I have no ability at all to bless. Siis mul ei ole üldse mitte mingit võimekus sind ennistada. I can't do it. Ma ei saa teha seda. I could be the best most anointed preacher on the planet. Ma võin olla kõige parem, kõige võitud õpetaja kogu siin planeedile. But if you don't believe that I have a word from God, it's not going to bless you at all. Aga kui sina ei usu, et mul on sõna isandalt, siis see ei ennista sind üldse. The power is in your hands to get blessed. It's not in me. See vägi saada õnnistatud on sinu kätte, see, see ei ole minus. My, and now listen to this. This, ja this might, might screw with some of your religious thinking. Et see võib nüüd natukene niimoodi kõikuma lüüa sinu religioosse mõtlemise. My ability to bless you does not come from God. Minu võimekus õnnistada sind ei tule Jumalalt. Minu my, võime õnnistada sind ei tule Jumalalt. My ability to bless you comes from you. Minu võime õnnistada sind tuleb sinult. Listen to this. Kuule seda. My ability to bless you does not come from God. Minu võime õnnistada sind ei tule Jumalalt. My ability to bless you is permission that you give for me to be able to bless you. Vaid minu võime õnnistada sind on see, see mida sina lubada. You give me the permission to bless you. Ja, et sina annab mulle selle loa sind õnnistada. You can either give me permission or you can take that permission away. Sa võid mulle ka anda selle loa või selle ära võtta. And I could, again... It's not about the anointing on me. Ja jälle kas ei ole selles võidmises, mis on minu peal. But if you don't receive me, if you don't honor me, kui sina ei võtta vastu mind, kui sina ei austa mind, you're not going to be able to partake from the anointing that is upon me. Siis sina ei ole võimeline vastu võtma sellest võidmises, mis on minu üle. And this is why some people could come to church and get answers to their prayers. Ja sellepärast mõned inimesed, kui nad tulevad kogudusse, nad saavad vastuseid oma palvetele. Leave church say, man, God really spoke to me today. Nad lahkuvad kogudusest ütlevad, et tead, Jumal tõeles, et täna kõnetas minde. And the person that was sitting in the row next to them, Ja see inimene, kes istub nende kõrval seal rea lõpus, they didn't get nothing. Nad ei saa mitte midagi. And their life is still a mess. Ja nende elu on ikka segadus. What's the difference? Et mis on see vahe? It's about how you honored what was going to be given to you. Ja selles, kuidas sina austasid seda, mis, mida seal anti. I could say the exact same things and get two different responses. Ma võin öelda samu asju, aga saan kaks erinevate vastuste. And, and it's because one honors me and one chooses not to honor me. Asja on selles, et üks austab mind, aga teine otsustab mitte austada. But for me to hear from God, aga selleks, et mina kuuleksin Jumalalt, I have got to honor the people that God is using to speak into my life. Mina pean austama neid inimesi, keda Jumal kasutab minu ellu, minu ellu rääkimiseks. Jesus said, he who receives you receives me. Jeesus ütles, et kes võtab vastu teid, võtab vastu minu. And there are people that God has used to speak into my life that I would have never thought 
God could use them to speak. On inimesi, keda Jumal on kasutanud minu elu rääkimiseks, kelle suhtes ma kunagi peaks arvanud, et Jumal kunagi saab neid kasutama. God has used different situations that I've been in. Jumal on kasutanud erinevaid olukordi, kus ma olen olnud. To change my whole outlook on life. Selleks, et muuta kogu minu seda vaadet selle elule. And I would have never thought that God could have used that person to do that for me. Ja ma poleks kunagi uskunud, et Jumal saab kasutada seda inimest, et selle tegemiseks. But if I can choose to honor them god could use anybody to bless me aga kui mina valin austada neid igalt inimest siis jumal saab kasutada keda iganes so we have to receive one another in the name of the lord nii me peame vastu võtma üksteis issanda nimele and we've got to get to a place that we we have a standard of honor that goes to this level nii me peame jõudma enda elus paika mis siis kus see austuse tase läheb sinna sinna maale that whether you choose to honor me or not kus vahet ei ole kas sina valib mind austada või mitte i'm going to i'm going to honor you mina austan sind That's where we that's that's the goal. Et see on see eesmärke. That whether you choose to honor me or not, I'm going to honor you. You will not leave my presence without being honored. Kas sina mind austad või mitte, see see ei loe. Mina ikka kutsutan sind austada. Sa ei lähe minu ligi olust ära nii, et mina ei ole sind austanud. That's how it is that God wants wants to to get people to be able to bless you in your life. See on viis, kuidas Jumal tahab õnnistada sind läbi inimeste. Because everybody has a treasure and everybody has a field. Kuna igal ühel on aare, igal ühel on põlde. And the principle of honor is this. Ja austuse prinsiip on see. I can't receive from God mina ei saa vastu võtta Jumalalt until I receive the one that he sent to me. Enne kui ma võtan vastu selle, kelle tema on saatud minu juurde. And I can't get out of you what God put in there. Ja mina ei saa I can't get out of you what God put in there. Ja mina ei saa siis välja seda, mis on neise, Jumal neise pannude. Until I can properly honor you and receive it. Enne kui ma siis õigesti austan neide. I wrote that ja down and I liked the ja way that... õigel viisil vastu. I liked the way I wrote that down. Ja mulle väga meeldib, kuidas ma selle kirjutsin üles. So let me just read it to you again. Nii, because because we have trouble. Okay, I can't receive from God. Mina ei saa võtta vastu Jumalalt. Until I receive the one he sent. Enne kui ma võtan vastu selle, kelle tema on saatnud. And I can't get out of you what God put in there for me. Ja mina ei saa siis sinust võtta välja seda, mis Jumal sinna on pannud. Until I can properly honor you and receive it. Enne kui ma saan õigesti austada sind ja selle vastu võtta. Jesus said everybody has a treasure and everybody has a field. Jeesus ütles seda, et igal ühel on põld, igal ühel on aare. But to get to the field we got to gladly or get to the treasure we got to gladly buy the whole field. Aga selleks et jõuda selle aarde me ei peame ostma rõõmuga kogu selle põllu. And the truth is this some of us have treasure that's deeper than others. Ja tõda on selles et mõndade mõndadel meist aare on sügavam kui teistel. Some of us have never really worked on our field at all. Mõned meist ei ole oma põllukala üldse tööd teinud. You know they you know, when they come into church they don't really praise. Kui nad tuleb kogudus sinna eriti ei kiida Jumalat. When it comes to giving they don't really give. Mis puutub andmise andmisesse nad eriti ei anna. When it comes to listening they don't really listen. Mis puutub kuula mis nad eriti ei kuula. They don't serve. Nad ei teeni. They don't apply what it what it is that they hear. Nad ei rakenda seda mida nad kuulevad. And so again they might be here. Jällegi nad võivad siin kohal olla. But they're not really working on their field. Aga nad tegelikult ei tee ei tee tööd oma põllu kallale. But then there's some people that have been working on their field for years. Aga siis on mõned inimesed kes on teinud tööd oma põllu kallal juba aastaid. And the treasure is closer to the surface. Ja see aare on tõusnud pinnale lähemale. They've already removed some of the dirt. They've already already made the field a beautiful place. Nad on juba osa sellest sopast ja pinnasest ära koristanud sealt ja nimud et see põld on muutunud juba ilusaks paigaks. Again I'm, I'm this is the point I'm trying to make it's up to us how much blessing we're going to be able to receive. Ja jälgi see punkt mida ma tahan teeni tuu on see et meist oleneb kui palju saare me elus välja paistab. It's up to us how much blessing we receive. Ah see oleneb meist kui palju aaret me kui palju õnnistust meie vastu võtame. And it's up to us how much we're going to be able to bless others. Ja see oleneb meist kui palju me oleme võimsed õnnistama teisi. Right? It's how we treat others. See viis, kuidas me kohtleme teisi. It's how we're going to be blessed. On see, see viis, kuidas me saame õnnistatud. But we're going to talk about this in the weeks to come now. Ja tulevastel nädalatel me räägime sellest. It's up to us to be a blessing to others. See oleneb meist, et me saaksime olla õnnistuseks teistele. We need to be doing what we can do to let our gift bless other people. Me peame tegema seda, mis me saame teha, et meie and saaks õnnistada teisi. And it comes by honoring others and honoring ourselves. Ja see tuleb selle juurde, et meie austame teisi. And so we all have a part to play in the kingdom of God. Need igal ühel meist on osa kuninga Jumalan kuningriigis. Anything that you do in Jesus name is going to be rewarded in your life. Iga asi, mida sina teed Jeesuse nimel, see saab tasutud ma siin elus. 
you know, and, and, and again, when it comes to the body of Christ, don't think that you always have to have me pray for you. Because on a Sunday morning, I, I don't have time to pray for everybody who comes. But I do believe this. I believe somebody in here can pray for you and, and, and bless you. Jälle, jälle, usun seda, et keegi, kes on siin, saab paletada sinu eest ja saab õnnistada sinda. God has somebody that can speak into your life. Jumalal on keegi, kes saab aeg kõnetada sind su ellu. He doesn't always have to just use the leader. He could use anybody. Ta ei pea alati kasutama juhtida, võib kasutada keda iganese. Now, most of the time, God is going to use me to say something and hopefully when you come here, you're going to get something from God. Elamus aegades Jumal kasutab mind, et rääkida minu läbi ja kui sa tuled siia, sa kuuleb midagi, sa saad midagi. But I believe with all my heart that each and every one of you can speak something into somebody else's life and, and cause them to be blessed. Aga ma usun kogu oma südamega, et iga üks teist on võimeline rääkima Jumal alt kellegi teise ellu ja olema õnnistuses kellegile teisele. And we need to be ready to be blessed blessed and we need to be ready to be a blessing. Ja meie peame olema valmis saama õnnistatud ja olema õnnistuseks. And it all comes back to this this the standard of honor. Ja see kõik tuleb tagasi selle au standardi juurde. So the next time you pray God bless me. Nii et kui sa järgmine kord palud seda et Jumal õnnista mind. Check yourself. Siis kontrolli ennast. Check how you treat other people around you. Eta vaata üle kuidas sina kohtad neid inimesi kes on sinu ümber. Check to see if you are honoring the ones that he has puts into your life. Vaata kas sina austad neid inimesi kelle tema on pant su ellu. And I believe this I believe that God is going to use you to bless other people. Mu usun seda et Jumal saab kasutama sind selleks et õnnistada teisi inimesi. God arranges things so that what he's put in you is going to be seen by somebody else. Jumal korraldab asju nii et need asjad mis ta on pannud sinusse need saaksid nähtavaks teiste jaoks. By the ones that he sent to help et läbi nende siis keda tema saatab aitamiseks God is going to send you to help somebody Jumal saadab sind et aidata kedagi and they're going to be able to see the gift in you Ja nemad saad olema võimsed nägema seda andi sinuse I believe this I believe God has sent you to this church Ja ma usun seda et Jumal on saatnud sind siia kogudusse And you are here to help Ja sina on siin aitamiseks You are here to be blessed but you are here to also be a blessing Sa oled siin selleks et saada õnnistatud aga ka selleks et olla õnnistuseks And so what is in you Nii et mis on sinuse the gift and the treasure that God has put there that maybe nobody has uncovered yet See ant see aare mis on sinuse mille Jumal on pannud aga mida võib-olla mitte keegi veel ei ole avastanud You need to know that that gift is going to be the thing that's pushing you towards your destiny Sa pead teama seda et see ant on see mis tõukab sind sinu saatusesse It's the thing that's going to get you to the place that God can use you for his glory See on see mis see viib sind sinna paika kus Jumal saab kasutada sind tema auks So we've got to start to uncover a little bit Aga meie peame siis hakkama natuke ära võtma seda katet sealt peale. means we're going to have to get rid of some of the dirt ourselves. See tähendab, et meie peame ise saama lahti mõnest, so- mõnest hulgast sopast. God is going to help you. Jumal aitab sinda. Jesus paid a price so that we can, we can work on ourselves. Jeesus maksis hinna selleks, et me saaksime ise teha tööde. But don't think that you are too unworthy to receive from God. Ja ära mõtle seda, et sul ei ole väärtust, et vastu võtta Jumalalt. Don't think because of the way you've lived your life that you don't deserve the blessings. Ära mõtle seda, et see viis, kuidas sina enda elu oled elanud, sai väärju you need to know you're chosen by God. Sa pead teama seda, et sina oled valitud Jumala poolt. You are seated in high places with Christ Jesus. You have been called by his name. Sind on kutsutud tema nimega. We are called Christians. Ja meid kutsutakse kristlasteks. Amen. Amen.